Hey, I'm Rue, and I'm an elopement filmmaker and photographer, and today we're in rainy Washington state, and I'm gonna make a video about how to elope here. There's amazing places all on the mountains or on the coastline, awesome spots to elope here. So today I'm gonna walk through everything you need to know, ultimate guide to eloping in Washington state. Let's dive right in. All right, so as you can tell, it is a little rainy here in Washington, as it often tends to be in any season but the summertime. But we'll dive into all, all things weather and seasons and where to elope. I'm just gonna start right off, kind of giving you a brief overview of what you find in this video. We're gonna start off with how to get your marriage license. From there, we're gonna go into what is the best season to elope here, how to avoid the rain or how to really embrace the rain. After that, we're gonna go into a few of my favorite locations. I got four locations to share with you, but there are a ton more. Obviously, this is a big state. There's a lot of amazing places, but I'll go through my favorite four. And then kind of to, to finish off the video, just a, a brief explanation on how to book vendors and find people and yeah, get this whole dream into a reality. So we'll, we'll start right off with the marriage license. So to get your marriage license here in Washington state is actually relatively simple. I'll put down a link in the description to a few county offices on where you can find your marriage license. But essentially you have a three day waiting period that you need to abide by. So if you live in Washington, definitely pick up your marriage license a couple weeks in advance. If you're traveling to Washington from out of state, picking up your marriage license and then having three days before you're allowed to use it. So Washington's an awesome place and there's so many cool spots to check out. So I kind of think of this as like a blessing in disguise that you have three days now where you technically can't get married and can't make it official. So travel around the state, enjoy the coast, enjoy the mountains, enjoy kayaking or hiking or doing whatever you want to do. And then on the anytime after the third day, you have 60 days to then use your license. So once you're here and you've waited your three days and you want to have your ceremony, you have 60 days to then do it. In order for that to happen, you do need to hire an officiant and you need two witnesses to sign on your marriage license. So that witnesses could be your photographer. It could be anybody hiking by on the trail, which is kind of a fun way to celebrate with it. Uh, you could have your guests sign it, really anybody who is a witness to the ceremony um, in addition to your officiant. So once you've had your ceremony, you said your I do's, you're crying, you're so happy, you're like, this is the best day ever. And what do you do with your license afterwards? You then have to take your license back to the county office that you got your marriage license from. You turn it in and you're all good to go. Congratulations, you're married, super exciting. So once again, if that all sounds really confusing and overwhelming, don't stress about it. It's actually a totally easy process. Once again, I'll put links in the description on, on the county websites and how they go about it, where you can just apply right there. So it's super, super simple. Now we'll dive into like what the best time of year to elope in Washington state is, in my opinion. The best time of year to elope in Washington state is any time. Each season has its own benefits. The fall has amazing colors. The summer is gorgeous. The winter has a lot of really beautiful rain and snow. The spring has wildflowers popping out. It's awesome really any time of year. In the summer, I'm most biased towards summers in Washington. Summers in Washington are like, for me, the top. I've never been a place anywhere in the world that rivals Washington state in the summertime, in my opinion. I've been all throughout Central and South America. I've traveled all over Europe. I've been to Asia, I've been all over the French Polynesian islands and still Washington state in the summer tops the list as the best places to go. And I really do mean that. It is so stunning here. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. There's not a ton of bugs. It's really gorgeous. Coast, mountains, doesn't matter. Summertime in Washington is my favorite time of year here. But still, if you want to elope in Washington state in the winter time, there's awesome snow in the mountains. It's like a magical winter wonderland. On the coast, there's really beautiful waves and really awesome wind and really big waterfalls and, and rivers all along. So there's really no bad time of year to elope in Washington. Just really sit down with your partner and say like, hey, maybe what do we want? What do we want out of this whole experience? If we want snow, maybe the winter time might be a better time. If you want like beautiful warm weather and, and kayaking on the beach in our shorts, like that might be a, a better time of year to elope here. But really, like I said, there's no bad time of year to elope in Washington. It's really talking with your partner and figuring out what the goals are for the day and really sticking by that. So next up, location, location, location. As an elopement filmmaker and photographer, this is one of my favorite things to talk about. One of the best parts of the job is being able to take people out to these amazing, beautiful locations and, and help them celebrate their marriage in a way that's really true to them. So I'm gonna go through four of my favorite locations. 
But keep in mind, there are kind of just an endless amount of options here. Talking with your photographer or videographer about places to elope here is a really good option to find places maybe off the beaten path, a little bit more remote. So spot number one that I'm gonna talk about, it's one of the most iconic mountains in Washington state, it's the tallest mountain in Washington state, Mount Rainier. So Mount Rainier is a really good option for eloping in Washington because of its obviously iconic mountain views. The vistas are crazy awesome. There's so many good trails. There's good for multi-day backpacking routes. There's good for shorter things out to a lake and back. Really an amazing place to, uh, to choose for your elopement. If you like the mountains, Mount Rainier is a really solid option. Next up on our locations, we have two mountain locations and two coastal locations. The next mountain location that I would recommend is North Cascades National Park, also known as the Alps of America. North Cascades National Park is gorgeous and also most beneficial to uh, people eloping. It's actually one of the least visited national parks in the country. So you have abandoned alpine lakes that are only really accessible by hiking. Unlike Mount Rainier, where you can drive to a lot of locations, North Cascades National Park is a little more rugged. Super jagged peaks, awesome alpine lakes, amazing waterfall, crystal clear rivers, so many cool spots to visit and North Cascades National Park. So that's number two on the list. All right, so if you're eloping from out of state, you fly into Seattle and you're like, where do we go now from here? If you go just across the Puget Sound and head west, you can hit the Olympic Peninsula, which is the westernmost and northwesternmost part of, uh, of Washington State. The Olympic Peninsula is nuts. This place is so cool. You have so many amazing beaches, just like the one I'm on right now. I'm actually currently in the Olympic Peninsula. There's amazing beaches. There's really cool mountains. Olympic National Park is here. There's an amazing rainforest here. So if you want the forest, you want the beach, you want the mountains, you can get it all. And the cool thing about the Olympic Peninsula is you can get it all in the same day. So if you want the beach and the mountains and you're like, oh, we don't know which one to choose, you can have both in the same day. And that is epic. And that is one of the things that appeals most to me about the Olympic Peninsula is having the mountains and having the ocean and being able to combine the two is pretty phenomenal. Amazing, amazing, amazing location. I love the Olympic Peninsula. I'll be coming back here for the rest of my life, whether or not it's to film elopements, I'll be here hiking, I'll be here surfing, I'll be here skiing, I'll be doing all the fun activities on the Olympic Peninsula forever. All right, and the final place I would add to my list is the San Juan Islands. I'm very biased towards the San Juan Islands because I actually grew up on the San Juan Islands. I moved there when I was two, I left there when I finished high school. The San Juan Islands is, is my home and I love it. It is gorgeous there. About two hour ferry boat ride from Anacortes, which is about an hour and a half from Seattle. You take the ferry over and you have all of these islands that you can explore. There's a ton of named and unnamed islands in the San Juan Islands. The one that I grew up on, Orcas Island, obviously my favorite, but you have Lopez Island, you have Friday Harbor, you have Shaw Island, and then all of these other tiny little ones that you can boat to, you can kayak to even. The San Juan Islands is such a special place. You have awesome waterfalls. You have awesome lakes that you can even swim in in the summertime. You can go kayaking, you can go canoeing, you can go sailing, you can charter a boat. Similar to the Olympic Peninsula, for me, the San Juan Islands, there is an endless amount of exploration to be had there. You take a ferry over, that in and of itself is beautiful. You get a hike around in beautiful waterfalls. You have awesome creeks. We have a rope swing on Orcas Island, which is pretty cool. There's a, you can even take a float plane out to Orcas Island, and I think some of the other islands as well. So now that we've gone through all the locations, we've gone through time of year, we've gone through the marriage license, we've gone through a ton of process. Now I would just say, book your vendors, book your places to stay, find accommodation, find restaurants to go to, kind of fill in those gaps. Once you have these big decisions made of like, okay, we got the marriage license, we're doing it. Or like, okay, we have a date picked out and we have our location picked out. Now is when you kind of piece all the other things together. So you can reach out to me, my email's in the description below or I can, I can happily recommend other filmmakers and photographers here in Washington. Um, but yeah, once you settle in with your vendors, like just get excited. Like this whole process should be, it should be fun. You know, like this is such an amazingly beautiful destination and such an amazing place to elope that once you, once you get all of these things sorted, really like settle in and, and just get excited. You know, there's so many awesome things to do here and you'll, you're gonna have a blast, right? Like you're here to celebrate your love. All of these things that I've talked about, like. These are just logistics, you know, like once you get these sorted, like really, really remind yourself and talk to your partner throughout this experience. Be like, what are we looking forward to? Like, what are we most excited about? What type of activities do we want to do on our day? Like, that's what's going to make this thing special. And, and being able to celebrate with your loved ones out here, like 
that's what this is all about. It's not about like getting the best sand or getting the best photos or the best videos. Like the thing that makes eloping special is your love and your marriage. And so really focusing on that is kind of the, the true story of this. So if you have any other questions about things to do and elope and anything logistically related to eloping in Washington, like I said, my email's in the description. You can check out my website below as well or check out some of my other planning videos um, above here. And, and I love you, I'm proud of you. Have the best day ever.